Hi! What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Me and Pumpkin. Last week, I hired somebody to take our graduation photo shoot and along with my headshot. So today, I wanted to film this video to kind of talk about go tips, my hair, what did I wear, tips on posing, and all the good stuff that you need to know when you book your first graduation and headshot photo shoot. So I hope this video would be helpful to you guys. I will also show some of the, my favorite picture by the end of this video, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like, thumbs up if you guys like this video, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, everyone. Since you get started, I'm just going to get my hair out of the way because I hate getting makeup everywhere and my hair down. So starting off with a clean face, I am using this brand called Different. You can get this at Walmart. I absolutely love it. It's for gentle skin. I absolutely recommend them. You just need one pump and some lather it in to your face and you want to massage it in. Just It's like there's no bubble or and look for anything so when you just massage on the face it's literally felt like lotion so it's massages to my face make sure i get everything nice and clean and then i'm just gonna go in with a clarisonic to exfoliate my skin so when you put on down bat foundations you're gonna have a flawless canvas then you want to wash everything out ah fresh next i'm using the same brand also by different moisturizer I also absolutely love this. I so recommend this brand. You only need one pump for your whole entire face and it's so gentle for my skin. So you wanna press this in the pressing motion out your face, everything towards your ears. With the tip of your fingers, you wanna go ahead and dab underneath your eyes very gently. And don't forget to massage your neck. Next, I'm going in with a Purr Correcting Primer. You only need a pea size. I'm using this in a water base because my foundation later on I use would be also in water base, making sure everything will last throughout the day. I'm applying this to my T-zone because I sweat like an oil company. Now this is a Dior Skin Forever SPF 35. You don't want to use that because it gives you that white cast look during your photo shoot. So I'm open for a MAC Pro Foundation 24 hour stay. This will last all day on me with a wet sponge. I'm just dabbing in my skin gently. The only reason why I'm using the sponge is because it will give it skin like finished look and I'm just blending it out down to my neck. Next, I'm using Hourglass Stick Concealer and I'm just going in and get anything that my foundation did not cover up like the under of my eyes and some blemishes that I have. Blending out with a brush gently, you want to blend, 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 blend. And with a MAC Skin Finished Light Plus, I'm pressing everything down, especially to the T-zone. Maybelline Foundation Sticks. I'm using these for highlight and contour purposes. With highlight, you wanna bring everything that's good about your face out. So let's say the bridge of my nose, underneath my eyes, and my cupid bone, and um, between that area of what we'll be contouring later. And then with the contour stick, a darker shade, you wanna contour the bridge of your nose, crease of my eyes, everything that I wanna dip in it up. Give us a little bit of a depth. And then after all that, you want to blend it out. So you want to go ahead and blend out the highlighter first because that would be the lightest shade. Then you're blending out the darker shade. With MAC Skin Finish Deep Medium, I'm going to add some definition to that contour. Now I'm taking MAC Blush in Gleeful. I'm applying this in the heavy hand just because when you're in photos, everything needs to be more dramatic for the flash. One of brows in dark brown, I'm picking up the products and going in 
with my the tail of my eyebrows first and then the rest of the products I have left I'm just gonna go in and fill in the head of my brows just to give that a natural finish going in with the other side and then you want to wait about 13 seconds before you brush it out because one of brow is going to give you that fiber natural eyebrow look while lasts very long within the heat next is my favorite do our show fusion monolid matte and it's just a very light pink it gives a pop to the eye and it's just awaken your eyes see the difference I also apply this to the bottom of my eyes, kind of like concealer. Um, going in with this very natural two shade, I am applying with a fluffy brush, picking a dark color to my crease, to the outer corner of my eyes to give it a lot of definitions for the photo, especially if you plan your photos to be in black and white. And then applying the rest to my bottom lash line. I'm using a light pink again to highlight the inner corner of my eyes and my brows. Going in with Estee Lauder Shadow Cream Blue Velvet, I'm using this eyeshadow gel to line my eyes giving my lash a little tail um, of something blue instead of black because I don't want it to be too black. And, um, just kind of give my eye an interesting look. And then I'm going to highlight the rim of my eyes with a peach color instead of white, just for a softer look. Using Maybelline Superstar Double Mascara, I just love the fact that this coat my lashes before I put the black mascara on, just so it will ensure that my lashes will stay put the whole day. Sleek Cosmetic in matte me i'm using this for my lip i really like this color it's not too um it's not too bright but it's just kind of very natural for my lip while giving me a little pop of color i'm using kylie cosmetic lip gloss in like i'm just topping it up to give it a little bit more nude look and then if you need extra wavoom to your eyes, you can use these extra lashes that I will link this below in the description box where to find them. Now that we're done with the makeup, ensure you spray Max Fix sprays so your makeup stays still. And then let's talk about posing for camera. Unless you're not doing a headshot, I would suggest taking your hair out of your face. So you can do a style like these. Sexy vampire is my favorite, y'all. Or you can be mysterious. Just be yourself. Or you can also be serious. Now, I don't know about you, but I get oily hair like everyone else. So I use this Burberry Stay dry shampoo and it's honestly saved lives. Or if you don't feel like doing your hair at all, you can just use the Clipping Ombre Ponytails. I'll link it below in the description box if you want to buy them. Literally put your hair in the ponytails, you clip it in. So easy. Clip it in place, make sure, and then you spread out. Blend it in with your hair. Make sure your hair is black though. And then voila, so cute, so effortless. No one will know. And then I'm topping it in with a blazer because this look is basically for my headshots. Don't forget to smile. Smile is very important. You can do a serious look with a hand by the hair. That always works for me. And also, I like to just kind of play with uh, my blazer. And then, if this is not too serious of a job, like you're in creative field, this pose always works for me too. If you have a tattoo on your wrist, don't show that. It's not professional. So then cross your arm together, that always works. 
We're just looking aside, those cute and professional at the same time for your LinkedIn. For my graduation look, since everything I'm wearing is black, I decided to pop in a little red shoes. And don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you guys want to see more of this face. This face, not my face, but this face.